Jose Gere was 18 years old when he left Gisborne to chase his rugby dreams. Almost 20 years later, the former All Black has returned home to share his expertise. I've come back to Gizzy, um, to coach East Coast, um, Ngati Pro East Coast in the heartland, and, and pretty much just um, you know share my knowledge and everything that I've learnt um, throughout my rugby career. And the East Coast players are eager to learn. Uh, having Jose as a coach is awesome. Uh, he brings a lot of knowledge and a lot of experience with him. Uh, and as he is as a man and how he coaches, uh, he really connects with the boys as well. Yeah, there's been some big change, I think, especially with him being here this time. He got us nutritionists to sort out our eating, which, you know, it's, it's a pretty big thing. The other changes, I think, the commitment to fitness and just to the, um, our own bodies, really getting it better playing condition. Gear began his rugby career playing for Algon Primary, challenging for the wicker ball, the poverty-based primary school's equivalent of the Ramfilly Shield. He went on to represent Gisborne Intermediate, then Gisborne Boys High School. Really happy to be um, to be standing on this field, have a lot of good um, memories. When I left school, I, um, I got a contract with North Harbour Rugby Union, um, just in their academy. I, I was invited to trial for the New Zealand under 19s. Uh, played for them my first year out of school, uh, played for North Harbour ITM Cup, and they got drafted down to the Hurricanes. Jose played nine years with the Hurricanes, two years with the Highlanders, and one year with the Chiefs. He also represented the Māori All Blacks, won a Commonwealth medal with the New Zealand Sevens and played 15 games with the All Blacks. But this story could have had a very different outcome. I played a lot of basketball growing up and you know my dream was, was to play um, in the NBA, loved basketball so much and then you know come to sort of my last year at school, last two years of school I'd come to the crossroads, I had to choose one. Older brother Rico um, Played rugby as well, played for the All Blacks. So I guess for me, you know, that pathway was, was sort of set and created for me early. After playing six years in France and one year in Japan, he's moved his family to live in Australia. However, COVID has meant an extended separation. Yeah, so uh, my family's still in Australia. Um, fiance and, and, our, and our three kids, uh, they were supposed to be here at the moment for their school holidays. School holidays over in Australia at the moment. So uh, it would have been nice to have them, you know, have them here. If anything, that's, that's probably the, you know, the hardest thing. While bringing together more than 30 players for training is an achievement, Jose has much bigger plans for Tairawhiti. You know, rugby up the coast is a lot more than, um, than just about playing, so um, the special thing about, about the game is that it's a vehicle for us to, um, uh, to motivate people in our communities, um, change mindsets and, and try and create new habits uh, you know, within their lifestyles. Right now, Gear is focused on his upcoming games, but around the corner is the local derby when Ngāti Pro East Coast take on Poverty Bay at the end of the month. Poverty Bay's coach Mai Nikura is well known to Gear. They grew up playing rugby and even flattered together. But as it gets closer, um, you know, the pressure will start building, uh, the banter might, might sort of pick up and, you know, it'll be all fun and games and, yeah, a really good challenge, not only for, for us as coaches, but, uh, but for the boys and both unions, because, you know, we have a long history. Renee Lola here, Local Focus.